Hello you lovely people, how are you all doing this beautiful day? I am Eshna and I welcome you or oh, welcome you back to my channel and to another haul video. It's been long that I have done a purple haul and I have gathered quite a lot of products from purple in recent times so I thought this might be a good time to share it with all of you. So I have got a nice mix of products uh, from makeup to perfume to hair care but yeah I have a lot of makeup as well to talk about. I love makeup. I don't make a lot of makeup videos because, because I don't get that much of a response in makeup videos. So I stick to hauls and uh, perfumes only. However, I love sharing my thoughts on makeup as well. So I will be sharing all that I have purchased, all the discounts that I uh, could get on various products because these are purchases from a lot of uh, individual uh, purchases so I've collated those and put it in this box right here and we'll be talking about all of these uh, products in this haul. If you're interested in hauls then make sure you stick around till the end of this video because I have got some great products to discuss with you but before we get started please spare a moment to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell icon next to it so that you're notified for all my future uploads. Without rambling any further let's dive into the video shall we? Alright, um, I won't be covering what's on my lips directly because I have what I'm wearing right here as part of this haul. So let me dive into the box and take out the products and start talking about things. So first I have this set of three mini lipsticks. It's not a set. I purchased these three together. That's why I'm calling it a set. It was not any set per se. These are Faces Canada mini lipsticks. These are comfy mattes and these are really comfortable to wear. I'm wearing one of these. So... I'll, uh, I cannot make it out from these small boxes so I'll take out and I'll give you one swatch of each and we'll find out what's on my lips today. First one is this one right here. This is in the shade. I don't know if uh, they have specific names or not. There are numbers and this one is called number 5. The shade name is, uh, I don't think it's written in the box. Even if it is, it's super tiny for me to read. So if I can find it, I'll place it on screen so that you get to know. So this is the first shade that I purchased. It's, it's a pinky color. It's number 5. I'll give you a quick swatch of this. There are doe food wand like this. And it's a bright neon pink color. I love such attack colors to wear on special occasions and all. So this is the first color. These are hell pigmented. This is just one stroke and it's lovely. So this was my first purchase from the Com Comfy Matte range. These retail for rupees 249 and I have paid 166 for each of these. Let's look at the other two colors. This is the other one, a nude brown one. See, this is one stroke. It's so pigmented. It's lovely. Just look at this bright color. I think I'm going to wear only these and finish them off and buy maybe the bigger ones. Love, love, love this formula. And I'm wearing one of these which is stored for the last. And it really feels like nothing on my lips. And the last one is this one which is number one actually. This is the red that I'm wearing. It's a beautiful color. Let me swatch it for you again. Here. Ignore the swatch but just look at this beautiful color. I mean, this is divine. This is mixed with another lip liner which I'll be showing you in a while. So that is why it's a bit muted. But this is this dark blue, blue based red color. It's so beautiful. Anybody with any skin tone can wear it. It's such a beautiful color. And these are comfortable and these are super affordable because I paid 166 for each of these. So that's the first set of purchase. Next moving on to an eyebrow product. I uh, am almost out with eyebrow products. I don't have a lot. I need one and I, that is what I use and continue. So I am, uh, I was in need of an eyebrow product. So I purchased this purple dark crescent uh, total filler eyebrow palette. It doesn't have a mirror. You get two shades here, a lighter brown uh, and a black one. And a brush like this one. This is an angled brush on one side and a small spoolie on the other. So yeah, I can put it in my everyday bag and it's a magnetic closure. So I like it. 
I uh, think I'll be using it on a daily basis. Let me give you a swatch of both the colors. The dark black is quite dark. The brown is good enough. But then there are looks and there are days when I like black uh, eyebrows as well. So, or else I might use those as eyeshadows as well. But I needed this one small thing with me. This one retails for rupees four nine nine, and I paid rupees three ninety five for this one. So yeah, looking forward to use this. Now next is one product that I have used, and I can give you a feedback, and it's just not first impression. It is this uh, Cuffs and Lashes Makeup Fixer. This is supposed to be a dupe of the Inglot Duraline one. This is that is always out of stock, and this is pretty much what it looks like. I have already tried this on one lipstick, the uh, Mishti one from Nykaa, but uh, it has actually made the formula change a bit and. I'm not very happy with how that turned out to be, but I might try on other products to finally form my thoughts. But the one product that I've used this on, it made the consistency much lighter, and it's no longer that thick, and it's always that oily kind of a thing when I'm trying to apply. I'm trying to use up Mishti uh, soon so that I can get maximum usage out of it. But uh, yeah, you just need two to three drops, and that is good enough. And then you keep it aside, let the formula absorb and break the dryness. But in case of Mishti, it made it more uh, light than the consistency Mishti originally had. So, anyways, looking forward to use this for the products that can be used and are dried up. But and this is comparatively more affordable if I compare with Inglot. This retails for rupees six nine nine, and I paid rupees five fifty nine for this one. So. Interesting purchase will probably give you more updates as I go on using and fixing my dried up makeup. With this purchase, I got a free product which is this handy dandy palette from Cuffs and Lashes, and this is in the sh uh, variant Orange Pixies. I this is how the Orange Pixies palette looks like. It's very nice to look at because uh, you can get good color combinations out of these. And you get a brush as well, which I don't know will help you or not. But it's never bad to have such brushes. Oh my God! A, did you see a pan came out? Uh, I wasn't expecting this. Anyway, I cannot show you any more. But I will be using this definitely because it's the the glue that holds the pan together in this palette is off for the beautiful color that this one is. But let me give you a swatch of these shades. I have heard good stuff that these are pigmented, so let's watch. Okay, so this is how the orange palette looks like. You can barely see these two colors, but these two are very pigmented and very nice colors. I can create very nice warm autumn-based looks out of these. So yeah, excited that this was free. So yeah, that is what I got free with that makeup fixer next i got a keratin shampoo nourishing shampoo from good vibes i uh, was looking for a shampoo and i thought okay nourishing shampoo let me try so this is uh, here it's a big one that i am looking at it has it is 200 ml and this retails for rupees 255 good vibes product suit me sometimes and so, uh, doesn't so it's a hit and miss kind of a thing i have to use it to give you a feedback whether it's good or not but yeah looking forward to use this Sometime and I'll provide you a feedback on this. I, on the other hand, paid 175 for this one. So this is the keratin nourishing shampoo from Good Vibes. Next, I have this NY Bay Radiance Compact Powder in the shade Fair Beige. I am almost out of all the com compacts uh, that I have. I have translucent powder that can be messy when I'm traveling to office, so I always want to have some compact and i like how what they have done to this packaging the squared rounded edges black chic packaging you get a big mirror here and a puff a protective sheet is here i i can feel it but it's not coming off so this is how the color looks like fair beige this one retails for rupees 229 I paid rupees 153 on this one. So, Purple has got some great products and you get it at really affordable rates. So, might as well check these out. Now, with those purchases, I got an interesting product free. The L'Oreal Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Serum. 
This is something that I got free in a very tiny chopusa packaging. This 7.5 ml product right here. I will use it and give you a feedback. Hyaluronic acid works like wonders on my skin. Looking forward to use this. Once I use this up, I will give you a review if I am purchasing or not. But I have used hyaluronic serum that used to be a translucent packaging and now it's this purple thing. I don't think there is any difference. If there is no, then I like it and I will definitely be purchasing the bigger one. I have used already one of those. I might revisit that again. I uh, stored up on uh, compact powder so I tried the purple uh, compact powder in the shade Beige Self Care uh, 3. This is how it looks like. It's very nice, uh, very uh, classy kind of a packaging. You get a full size mirror here as well. Again, this is how the pan looks like. And you get a puff like this. So yeah, looking forward to use these. These are quite reasonably priced products, which is what made me interested in them and I'm buying them in a lot. This one retails for rupees 225. And I paid rupees 146 for this one. So you might check these out as well. These are super affordable products and they work well. I've heard I have will be using and finally maybe in product empties or something we'll be giving you reviews whether I like it or not. Next is one of the star of the sh uh, show tonight is Love Child Nani House Perfume from Masaba. I have been eyeing this, waiting for discount and now I got it. The only thing is See, this entire thing comes out, then I can take out the bottle, which is very weird. This is something that needs to be looked at, but this is how the packaging looks like. Trust me, it reminds me of Max perfumes. Those are not even there in the market today, at least not in India. I don't know about abroad, but those were this kind of packaging, one color, square, maybe a bit smaller and this exact pink was there as well and I like something that has got white and black and this uh, tiny charm kind of thing uh, which resembles an, a lot and eclairs is there it's very smart looking it's very nice so masaba so nice and the scent I love it I adore it I have already smelled this once this is not new this is a white floral based fragrance so very much up my alley stay tuned for the review of this I, because I am in love with this one I might get another one and do a review that might happen as well but this is what I purchased and this one retails for rupees 2200 so it's not ex uh, affordable or anything and on discount I got it at 16.50 so uh, looking forward to use this I have two more lipsticks from Masaba. These are the Love Child uh, ones and these are the bullet lipsticks. First is Mita. Uh, I love this packaging. This is how the color looks like. Let me give you a swatch. This is how Mita looks like. It's very understated, very subtle, perfect for everyday wear to office. This is uh, Mita. And the other one is Sweet Supreme. Just look at this colorful packaging. Masaba is known for her beautiful packaging. Both are on the same lines, the color. It might seem, but they are not. They are different. This is Sweet Supreme. It might wash me out, but I'll pair it with some other color and wear it. I love nude colors and thought of wearing, getting hands on these. These are expensive. These are 600 bucks at the retail price, but I paid rupees 300 for each of them. What I feel about these, I might tell you later on in the in some other video when I'm reviewing or doing hauls as I wear and I share like, um, lipstick swatches and reviews with you. Next up I have two lip liners from uh, NY Bay. I'm wearing one underneath this lipstick today and this is this one. Uh, so it's kind of messy right now. This is in the shade Central, Central Park, uh, Park 8 and this is how the shade looks like it's it's beautiful it's comfortable to wear it glides on like butter and it's very nice size to finish up and carry as well these are mini lip liners i guess and uh, these are lip pencils that you have to sharpen and this is the other one i'll give you a swatch here these glide on like anything this is the other lip liner this is in the shade Times square it's very nice very uh, possibly to possible to use up that kind of a uh, uh, quantity is provided the size is perfect you can use it up and this came the packaging is although not good it's it's almost falling apart see 
it's almost falling apart. So I'm not very happy with the packaging, but the quality of the product, which is ultimately what matters, is something that I am liking it. These retail for, uh, I forgot actually what is the price point. These retail for 179. I forgot what I paid, not more than um, 100, very honest, I think so. But I'll leave those uh, details on the screen so that you can make it out. Um, I don't remember actually. Then I got a uh, Len Max Volume Plus Length Mascara. I am always on the lookout for a mascara that can keep my lashes curled up. So I thought I'll try this one. This is the mascara. I've heard good uh, reviews about this one. Let me show you how the wand looks like. This is how the wand looks like. It might be good. And the Evelyn mascara is already. So uh, it won't show up at this point. But yeah, I will use up use this and let you know what I feel about this. This one it is for 510 and I paid rupees 332 for this one. So yeah, this is the next purchase. Now I have received this as a free product, the Upton face wash. I have used it long back. I didn't like it uh, and after a while I started liking it. So it's a fresh one. I'll use this and I'll give a feedback. My initial impression of that one was not good. I hope they had changed the formula and this turns out to be good. The fragrance and everything, it worked well. The, the consistency was something that I had issues with. Not how this worked on my skin. So I'll try it and tell you to, to share with you. But I uh, got this as a free product along with all these purchases. <clears throat> One beauty sponge from Make uh, Forever 52, Makeup Forever, Daily Life Forever 52. I have seen so many people talk about this one and you can store it in this one so it's a nice thing. It is very squishy and soft even before it is wet so I'm, I have high expectations from this. So I'll use up and I'll let you know. This one retails for Rs. Uh, 349 but I paid something around 200 again. The price points will be given on, on the screen. I have one more lipstick from Cuffs and Lashes. Let me cover this. Uh, this is in the shade Vari Java 6. This is how the color looks like. This is nice, but it's a bit dull on my skin, to be very honest. So, this is how Vari Java looks like. It made my skin look a bit dull. If you are very fair, it will look very nice on you. If you are of my skin tone or darker than me, then it might wash you out a bit or look a bit dull. So, if you pair it with another lipstick, then it will look good, like I have done on other occasions. So... This is another lipstick that I purchased from Cuffs and Lashes. This one retails for Rs. 299. I don't remember what was the price or if I have shown this to you earlier or not. It was there in the box, so I'm sharing. And lastly, I have purchased the cover pots from Cuffs and Lashes. I have been eyeing these for ages. So this is the shade that I have got in Cool Tan. Honestly, I like this pot concept, but this yellow strip is something that is very irritating or turning off for me. If this was any other color, I love yellow, but not everything goes with everything. This Chetak yellow is somehow marring the beauty of this spot to be uh, in my eyes. Let me give you a swatch, but this feels very dry. I think I have to use the mixer first on this one. <laughs> this is how the shade looks like. Ah, this is how. This blends beautifully. It's good for matte finishing as well, I think see it blended out completely it gives a good coverage so yeah i'm looking forward to use this but this looks very nice but since it's plastic it feels very flimsy and the yellow turns me off here i don't know why but yeah this i got in the shade cool tan it might be a bit brightening for me which is the reason i got it in the first place this one retails for rupees 299 and i got some discount on this one as well which i don't remember i will definitely mention it on screen and i have two more products actually not lastly but i don't remember if i have shown this to you or not in some other haul so let me cover here i got this hojo brilliance highlighter sorry again if my dimensions look different my battery again died i had to switch to my mobile anyway so i was talking about this one highlighter this is the one that i purchased and the most thing that attracted me was the packaging and how the highlighter looks like just look at it you have a, a mirror here but it's not a mirror it's it's kind of a something here which is a very um, 
shiny kind of a thing but yeah just look at this highlighter a pinky highlighter just look at the gorgeousness that this is just see this is how the highlighter is i don't have any pink highlighters that per se so i purchased this one i'm not even sure if i have uh, shown this in any previous haul but if it's something that i've shown then it's a repeat for you <laughs> but then this is something i purchased i have no clue what i paid for this i need to check the app and i'll provide all this detail on the screen because even the price point for this is uh, not mentioned here it's just mentioned by when you are expected to use this uh, so i don't know exactly what the price of this one is as well this is just in the shade 01 that is what is mentioned and 10 grams of product is here so this is the uh, penultimate purchase and the last purchase is this one this is the stay quirky translucent powder i'm currently using the lacme 9 to 5 translucent powder uh, this is just not the white one this is the banana powder to make your eyes bright this is how it looks like if i drip it up then uh, we will be able to use this so that is what it is it's supposed to brighten up this is what i purchased so this one retails for rupees um, 349 but i'm pretty sure i didn't pay more than 275 or 250 for this one so that is pretty much it for this haul if you enjoyed watching this then don't forget to give this video a like share it with your friends and comment in the comment section if you want me to review any of the beauty products as well apart from the perfume perfume review will come but if you want me to review any of the beauty products that i have shown in this video then make sure you mention in the comment section the swatches are something that i have given you but i can tell you more about the formulation and everything after i use it provided you want to uh, view that otherwise i don't see the point of making the, uh, that kind of video also but yeah i love this uh, lipstick and it's totally transfer proof see so i love this if you want to buy any lipstick that you can carry around a mini go and buy this this is amazing i'll leave the product links of these uh, products in the description box below make sure you check it out in case you want to purchase any if you are enjoying this video make sure you give this video a like share it with your friends and uh, before you leave this channel don't forget to subscribe what are you doing if you haven't subscribed you can join this family i do a lot of fragrance reviews hauls um some tidbits here and there when i as i try so if you're interested in all of these make sure you join this family i hope you will have a good time out here and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it so that you're notified for all my future uploads that's it for today i'll see you in my next one till then stay happy stay healthy